Hello, everyone. Welcome back to In Out Delete, the show review both new and older movies. This is Gino. This is uh, Roberto Mesa. <laughs> this is Ricardo. America. And Gio. And we're going back to you live at usual home at. We're going to home at any base. That's all I can say. <laughs> but. Oh, yeah. yeah. At our home studios. <laughs> yeah, home studios. That's a better one. So far, you know, the heat wave is coming back up in the summertime. 2020, Stupid. summertime. Stupid heat. Stupid heat. Power went out here and there. Internet went mm. out. You know, the huge. But, you know, I was just what. <laughs> so, Ricardo, what have you been watching recently, my man? Uh, just a, a lot of Nurse Jackie, you know, representing. The, the playoffs are going to start. So, get a load of that. Um, that's all I'm going to be watching. I'm going to be into it. I've, the Lakers haven't been in the, in the playoffs for like uh, at least eight years. I've been yeah, waiting. It's been a while, yeah. I've been waiting, so I'm just gonna be into that the whole time. And shout out to the women. I've been watching guys. Hi guys. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're saying hi from. You've been, bubble. you've been watching women. Yes, play basketball. <laughs> yeah, okay, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Gino? I mean, yeah, Gino, right? Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, I've been watching. Uh, uh, mostly just TV shows, man. I've been watching uh, this the show called This Is Us. This, I finally started watching that show. It's actually pretty good. I know, Robert. Don't make that face. It's actually nice. I like it. <laughs> like, I've heard it's got a cult following. Like, there's a lot of people that are really into it. It's, it's, it's a good show to watch. You, I recommend it, you know. But since you make that face, Robert, what the hell you've been watching? <laughs> <laughs> this Is uh, Us. <laughs> actually, yeah, this, this other show called uh, This Is Them. <laughs> it's about black people. Um, <laughs> oh, oh, <God. laughs> no, uh, this is us a white show. Yeah, yeah, I think so. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, I've been watching. Uh, I I I watched um, the original Ring, the Japanese uh, Ringu. I think oh. it's called. Yeah. Um, I had never seen it, so yeah, I saw really? it. it was, yeah, you, I'm like, how do you, I want to see the what you... the Japanese version? Yeah, I had never seen it. Uh, it was really good. I liked it a lot. I mean, I like it's. It's pretty much the American version is the same thing as that. So like, I knew everything that was gonna happen, but it, I feel like it's a lot more raw. So I think it's it's, it's kind of scarier in a way. Um, then I went on to watch Ring Two and Ring Zero. So the whole trilogy. <laughs> yeah. Is Zero a prequel or something? Yeah, it Ring Zero. Zero. Ring Zero is a prequel. It's about okay. how um, <laughs> Zero. the girl became like evil or whatever. But yeah, I was kind of into Japanese horror now. Now I'm going to go and watch uh, The Grudge, oh. Japanese version. <laughs> yeah. You've never seen that one either? Not the Japanese version, no. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Wow, oh I'm so gosh. surprised. Yeah. I just I don't, say Michelle Gillard gets like a little cameo still in the Japanese I don't, I don't watch movies outside my bubble. Like I have a little bubble. Did you, you know, watch the new Grudge? American version. The, the one that came out like last year or whatever? Yeah. No. Oh. <laughs> I feel like you are. I feel like after watching these, ones, I think so. I mean, I'm gonna run through them all, you know. But I, I, uh, get ready yeah. for that one, <laughs> <laughs> Robert. Okay. Where did you watch this? Uh, the Ring movies are on Shutter, so oh. they put all three of them on Shutter, and that's why I watched them back to back. I think he's, I think he's sponsored by Shutter. Oh he, yeah, he's really? Like, yeah. <laughs> he's like, what are you watching? Oh, I've been watching Shutter. Yeah. Uh, America, what have you watched? Um, I started watching that Frank Sinatra docu-series on Netflix. Um, I love Frank Sinatra. So, but I didn't really know anything about his life. Um, besides he was like a womanizer. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm still on the first episode because the first one's like two hours. I don't know if that's like how the rest of the episodes are, but I'm still getting through that. Um, but it's pretty interesting so far. Yeah. Uh, Gio, what have you been watching? Uh, I've been watching the harley quinn uh, animated series i've been watching oh, some right. of that i just on, edited uh, hbo max yes and uh <laughs> and uh doctor who mm -hmm. the first season of this new uh new doctor i fell behind so i'm trying to catch up uh jody whitaker uh, yeah okay. so like when she first regenerated so i'm like i think seven episodes into that season but freaking BBC loves spoiling a bunch of stuff, so I know a lot of stuff that happens in the later season. <laughs> That's true. Like they have no chill. They're like the episode just airs, and they already like spoilers on, on their like socials. So I was like, that sucks. Hey, mm -hmm. oh, hey I got something that I watched. Go back to me. Say hey, Robert. <laughs> hey, Ricardo. 
Looks like you have something to say, do you? Fucking, <laughs> 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 um, uh, um, hey, trip out on this though. Hey, I saw, um, I, I haven't seen this movie in a long time. So I like, it was coming out and I saw the whole thing, right? And I was going to ask you, Robert, because you're a baseball fan, right? So I was like, oh, let, let's see what he thinks. Because I, I, I like it. He was in the outfield. I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> time, <laughs> literally, I, li I liked it like probably like 10 times more. What's the kid? Movie? Moneyball. Remember that movie with oh, Jonah Hill? And dude, I watched that one like two days ago. Oh, you did? Oh. <laughs> yeah. That movie it was on was Stars so or something stars, like that. Stars, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like I didn't. I didn't finish it because like I think I caught the end of it the other night and then this time around I watched the beginning of it, it, it I, I thought it was so good man the way they like well I don't know like you know because I'm not a baseball fan so I don't really know no but if they could do a basketball version of this it would be fucking exciting for me so that's why Robert do you like this movie or like are you into it or something yeah I'm in <laughs> I love <laughs> yeah I love I mean I love baseball movies but I love Moneyball man um it it's fucking amazing, dude. It's, was... it's it's funny because it's based on a true story. Yeah. And I hate what that movie did to baseball, but I love the movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's so good though. What and the movie baseball? um it changed it like it, it made it so like um it, it's he, like they, they how dude like they people, they, like, they, <laughs> they 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 found new ways to build their teams basically to look for like uh undervalued players so they want so they could build a good team without paying a lot yeah. basically oh, no. so they went so they went more based uh they found like different statistics they use to like value players mm -hmm. so they didn't just that look at the sucks. normal things like, oh, it's dude, really it's really crazy. creative and it's really yeah. inventive uh so but now <laughs> it's it's gone to the now like it's gone to the extreme now like and everything is based on statistics and 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 it's not about the intangibles anymore which i believe you know it is it should be about but yeah, I, I love the movie. Yeah, but the movie doesn't tell you a lot, though. It tells you that that the the A's like have like a really shitty team. Yeah, no shitty team. They had a really good team. Like they had some oh, great no. pitchers on that team. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, see, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah they left out a lot. <laughs> Damn, things you didn't know, man. See, like yeah. that's why I was gonna ask you because like I don't really know like the background or anything. Yeah. So I, but it, as long as you like it, that's cool. Yeah, it's a great movie. Never seen it, but okay. Thanks for the recommendation. Hey, hey, yeah, take, take, a watch, take a watch. So, are we reviewing this movie or what? <laughs> right. guys, it's I a mini it review. That, that was uh, Ricardo. Blame yeah. Ricardo for that one. Put you on it. In, I'm an in. So it's three ins. <laughs> two, two, I don't knows. <laughs> so uh, tune, <laughs> tune in next week, guys, when we'll be reviewing. <laughs> <laughs> So, been, oh, speaking about movie, what what movie did we watch recently, Robert? Uh, this week's new movie is called Moneyball. It stars Brad Pitt. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this no, all joking aside. This week's new movie is called uh, Amer An American Pickle. It's available on HBO Max, and it's directed by Brandon Tross, and it stars Seth Rogen, and it also stars Seth Rogen. Um, <laughs> it's like about this immigrant worker like in the 1920s who falls like into like a tub of pickles and he gets perfectly preserved and he wakes up 100 years later and he meets his great grandson and you know wacky adventures come out of that <laughs> yeah so um gino what do you think of this movie Okay, so before I, I'm going to talk about what I think about the movie, this is, goes back to me what I said last time at the end of the show where is this the beginning of Seth Rogen's career where he's going to be another Will Ferrell just milking his his acting or making him or milking his his uh, uh, let's say his reputation as a funny, uh, uh, you know, funny guy, basically. And, and I want, I'm wondering if you guys feel the same. But that being said, like, I I'm a delete. I fucking Shit. did not have a great time. I love it. I love it. <laughs> That's my delete. Because I did not have a great time. I was so bored. The jokes were not funny to me. Even um even even the whole dynamic of like the the great the great grand the great grandson and the guy whatever. It was like stupid back and forth with each other. Or, like like both dialogue and like scenes. Towards I I was begging for it to stop even i try to learn fucking judaism just so i could pray to stop this movie because i got so fucking bored of it 
<laughs> but I had to read just the first part of the Bible. Was like, <laughs> Either way, I'm a fucking delete. It was a terrible. I'm Ted Rogan is the next fucking real fire to me. Like they're both dead to me. Like they're they're the past. The past was great. Now they're dead to me. Dude. That being said, Gio, what do you think? Because I know your ass is gonna love this movie. I bet you're doubled in, super in. <laughs> No, the movie does have problems. Like, I think the beginning was kind of, like, it was fun. I thought, like, there was the funny moment in this. So, it's it was enjoyable. The end, was, it kind of does hit, like, a rocky point mm-hmm. where it's just, like, it, it kind of does get messy and went into an area that I didn't think it was going to go. Um, But other than that, like, yeah, I'm just going to, I'm thinking I'm going to stay in and out. Like, it's not one that, like, I'm going to highly recommend. So, all right. What about you, Ricardo? Uh, yeah, the same thing with Gino. I, well, okay, so it starts off. Um, it starts off pretty bad, but then it starts getting worse. <laughs> and then, like, I was like, "Whoa, this movie's fucking taking forever," and it's not even a long movie. So I was like, "What is going on?" You know, and you kind of convinced me now. Like, <laughs> it's weird because I was an out, but shit, am I gonna watch this movie again? No, am I? You're not. What? Are we gonna watch this movie again? I don't Whoa. watch movie again. Deleting. Deleting. Uh, Wait, oh. is that a double delete or <laughs> just a single delete? Because you brought in America. Nah, because I, you know, nah. deleting. <laughs> <laughs> Take my boat for me. No, nah. <laughs> but no, yeah, like you were saying, it's the same thing. It, 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 the only thing is that I have not given up on Seth Rogen. That's the thing. But other than that, yes, the movie. No, I was not into it. Got bored and. It kept going, and it wasn't even long, but it felt long. So I don't know. What do you think, Robert? Huh? Um, probably gonna have to fight all you guys. I'll be in on this movie. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I I agree with what you're saying. What you're trying to say, Gino, is that Seth Rogen is not an actor. He doesn't play characters. He plays Seth Rogen, right? That goofy, you know, like immature guy who the stoner character yeah like and that that's it you know and that was fun for a while like his early movies but then it's just like the same movie over and over the same script over and over and i know he didn't write this and this is not like his movie but it's still like a seth rogan movie you know but i gotta say like i i thought it was mild mildly entertaining you know i i you know when they when um the older seth rogan the grandpa like starts adjusting to like modern life. Like a lot of those things that they kind of like highlight about, you know, times today, I thought it were funny, but like the social media stuff and the way like hipsters are, you know, and the way he kind of takes advantage of that stuff. I thought all that stuff was fun. And it's a, it's a, it was a, it was a decent time. Like I didn't hate it. So I had to give it an in. Uh, America, what'd you think? Um, I mean, I'm in agreement with all of you guys. It did seem to drag, even though it wasn't a long movie. It wasn't great, um, but I'm gonna fall on out. I don't think I'm gonna delete. I don't even know why, really, because um, it's. <laughs> I'm not gonna rewatch it. It wasn't great. It wasn't that funny. Like I don't know, but it did entertain me. Like you know, so I don't know. Out. I'm being nice to it. Maybe because I like pickles. I don't know. this <laughs> though, it actually, it actually didn't entertain me. Like, I was, like, not entertained watching it. I was yeah. weird because I was expecting to be entertained, like, a little bit, you know? Yeah. And, like, the movie could have been cool, in my opinion, like, if it was, like, a little bit more serious, I guess. Because it started Why? getting too, like, dumb and, like, too not funny. Like, it's not it's not an Adam Sandler movie. It should have been, might I... as well, you know? Like, if it's, if it's, like, an Adam Sandler movie, because towards the end, like, there's, like, a debate scene or whatever. It's really silly, you know? But then that could have been like through the whole movie and then now I'm I'm a little bit more entertained because now I know that it's gonna be this kind of movie. But since it started off like a little bit more I don't know, sad, I guess. I was like, Oh, maybe it could be It didn't start off sad, it started off funny. Yeah. Right? No, 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 but like you get it, right? Like he left it, his family's gone and everything. Yeah, but so it it, it could have been a little bit no, like it just could have been. If this thing, if this movie was serious, it would be like super duper. No, like, no, not completely. Fire. No, not, yeah, not, you could, you wouldn't be able to buy the fact that dude got pickled. <laughs> like, yeah. Come yeah, on, there's there's an inherent silliness and uh, silliness, but um, yeah. I think if you, you know, it's obvious what's what's going on here. If you don't like Seth Rogen, if you're over it, 
then this movie's yeah. never gonna yeah. win you over you know but yeah. like i honestly don't care you know i like yeah you know so i, like- I just accept it and like the 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 story you know it has it's cheesy messages but i'm i'm okay with it like never forget your family and all that stuff <laughs> yeah. uh, but so yeah, I, I i was honestly entertained by it i i i i don't see it all like the really really bad movie you guys saw like if anything this is a mildly entertaining maybe forgettable movie but like like all the way out like delete i don't, I don't see it that bad <laughs> get that eraser huh <laughs> so you think they did young Seth Rogen first? No, the the old one, right, with the beard. They did that uh, yeah, first. So right? basically, HBO Max has they do have a feature where you they did like a small behind the scenes, and they Whoa, do film cool. everything, almost yeah. every mo- the majority of the whole movie with him with the beard, and then they filmed him without the beard after. So it, they had so to go it's back. Not big, it's not a fake beard. No, it's really good. His oh, real beard. Yeah. America said it was a big beard. So they had to go back to those same locations when he shaved it off to do those scenes again. Yeah. But he had like a, they had a body double to help him out. Yeah. Do the, Just for, I, look, I, yeah, to yeah, make I references mind. for the looks and for editing, basically. I'll admit watching that, watching the behind the scenes, I was amazed. Like the, a lot of work got into making this movie and I actually appraised the, the, the people who worked on it, but not the director, not the fucking actors. They fucking suck. Oh, <laughs> not the director. Come on. You know, <laughs> I mean, you're, you're you're praising the way they did it, and then you say yeah. you don't praise the director. <laughs> <laughs> the same. No, but that's actually pretty impressive because, like, I would assume that you, they just did it old school. You know, they shoot mm-hmm. it twice, like right away, just stitch it together. So I thought so too. I uh, yeah. but yeah, they they, they didn't want to. From what I remember <clears> watching, <throat> they didn't want to put a fake beard on him and constantly taking it on and off to do those scenes. Oh, okay. So that's mm-hmm. why they kept him with the Dude, beard. That's natural. probably really hard because, like, scenes like the fighting scene. That's actually really impressive. I want to see that documentary or whatever you saw. The <laughs> What's on HBO Max is so just click on the movie. It should be like that's on extra. Way better than the movie, probably, right? I'm pretty sure. It's four minutes long. Gino, you, you, Gino, Gino was like, I hate this movie so much. Let me watch more. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you, know, you don't know why. The truth is, I was like that. But the reason, because I wanted to try to like it. I really mm-hmm. wanted to try to like it. But I'm starting to feel this is the beginning for Seth Rogen to be another real pharaoh. He's going to jump on the wagon with Adam Sandler. Start making stupid straight to d- demand, uh, straight to digital fucking movies, and it's going to suck. And I'm just going to get disappointed along the way. I don't think it's the beginning. That's been happening. He's never played like a different <laughs> like character or anything. Ooh, Seth? <laughs> Seth Rogen, yeah. Hey, that's his yeah. been him for his whole career. <laughs> I only see, I, I, he, I thought he was going to be that buff guy. But... Like that guy from Parks and Rec. What's his name? Oh, Chris Pratt. Pratt. Yeah, I thought he was going to just... Can, you know how he was losing weight? And I thought like, oh, like next day to another. You know how like these famous people just get fucking buff? I thought he was just going to get like super ripped wow, and star in a Marvel yeah, movie or I something. Think, look, you know? To be honest, I can never picture Seth Rogen being buff as hell. Like that's... Like him looking like that skinny in Green Hornet looked more natural to me than him yeah. being like shirtless. And he has like a 12 pack going on and like flexing. I'm going, oh, I'm Green oh, Hornet shit, now. <laughs> like, oh, <we're> here. <laughs> Look at me, I'm the Green Hornet. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking laugh. Yeah, he, he didn't go full Chris Pratt. Yeah. No. Well, look at Chris Pratt now. <laughs> <laughs> I love that guy. Can you imagine says Rogan like in Jurassic World? <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at that velociraptor. <laughs> <laughs> Top boxing the raptor. The raptor. <laughs> it's going to be like, Rex, don't, don't, don't move. Don't move. <laughs> I think it's clear this movie, we've said everything about this movie that we're going to say. Consensus yeah. is, is forgettable, I guess. You know, Seth For- Rogen, uh, a, a Seth Rogen joint that's kind of forgettable. <laughs> So you're willing to watch. Pun intended. Yeah. <laughs> so we have one out. No, two out. Sorry, one in and two deletes. Damn mean Ricard. <laughs> but I'm not. I don't care. I'm proud of it. No, damn, damn them. Damn them. Damn them. <laughs> no, it's not fair. It's not fair. I can't just get the ins and the outs. <laughs> not this time. I already did damn to them enough already early in the episode. <laughs> the older movie was Geo's pig. I'm wondering, Jill, what was what was your pick and why? Uh, so my pick was uh, Taika Waititi's uh, movie from 2016 called Hunt for the Wilder People. I had never seen this movie before. Uh, I just saw the trailer in passing this week, and I was like, 
hey i kind of want to see that so like yeah i'm in on this uh i love uh it's funny it's that uh that white uh taika kind of humor or uh it's shot beautifully like it's the movie uh it takes place in new zealand and just like um especially like in the in the bush in the forest so it just kind of encapsulates like the beauty of uh, new zealand in this movie but yeah i'm i'm in i'm i'm in all right so now robert what do you think now uh i have to be out on this <laughs> yeah well let me let me explain like i, I thought i thought it was a good movie let me just say that i think it, it, it's 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 a different standard that I'm judging it on. Um, I thought, you know, it's very heartwarming. It's very charming. That, you know, I like the characters and all that. The setting, like you said. But honestly, like, I think, like, once they got into the woods, I just felt like it kind of went on autopilot. And I just got, <laughs> I, I got really bored. I, got, I was like, okay, okay. I, know, I know how this is going to end. Let's just end it, you know? Um, but, like, you know, like you said, it has it's, it's Taika Waititi's humor, like that kind of deadpan-ish humor, which is, yeah. all, like, uh, it's all really funny. Like, all the most of the jokes land. So, it's, you know, I mean, it's it's an owl compared to, like, more, more, more recently, like Jojo Rabbit and Thor and all that. But it's still, like, it's it's a good. It's not American Pickle, you know. Um, it's, yeah. it's, it's a good movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's all relative, right? Um, yeah. It's just you know, I just I I gotta say, I was bored, and I, I kept check- it's and it's only an hour and forty minutes. Like that's the perfect length. But, like I kept checking to see how long it was left. I was like, Jesus, for like three days. <laughs> uh, Ricardo, what oh did you gosh. think? Yeah. Oh, trip on, dude, trip on on this though. Like the uh, the the same thing. I I like the way it looked. I love the way it looked, and his uh, the humor is fucking hilarious. So I thought it was everything was cool, but the length was so like you said, it wasn't even long, but it felt long, dude. And I was like, I don't understand. Like, there's like a whole chunk you could take out from that movie, and then it will just like be like. But then it'll be a short film. Yeah, (laughs) (laughs) I guess so. Right, that's true. So it's like like the same thing. I, I think I'm an out. Mm. And it's cool though. Like I'm not gonna say it's like bad, yeah. but it's just like you just wish it was a little bit shorter and cleaned a up. A little bit shorter, a little bit shorter. And and I see it though. Like I saw like Jojo Rabbit. I like that movie too. You know, so uh, I saw the similarities and I saw like how he uses the kids to to like for the the I don't know how to explain to say the jokes. You get it? And it, it's mm. cute and it's funny. You know, so I get it. You know, so everything is cool. It's just. The way it felt was long, and I did feel kind of bored. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, whatever. What did you think, Gino? And I had to agree with with Robert, man. But I'm I'm trying to figure out. Are you still are we still talking about the same movie? Or are you talking about American Pickle? Just want to double check. <laughs> yeah. I was just kidding, kidding. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, but I'm also an out man. This is this. I I I I try to like it. I just felt like I'm watching a New Zealand version of Up. But with just without the house and the balloons. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's you know, fairly you, it's fairly up. Yeah. Yeah, because you see a they found an exotic bird that's basically extinct. And you know, like, mm-hmm. didn't that, that happen enough too? And they and they had dog with them. But mm-hmm. I have to say the dog <laughs> named Tupac. That's a that's a that's dope. That is a dope. <laughs> I, I it sucks because I it's the, the the actor who came out in Jurassic Park, you know, he's Samuel. a very talented Samuel. actor. Yeah. And I liked I liked his acting in this movie, but not not as much as I wanted to like the movie though. But and it has the kid from Deadpool too, the fucking fat kid. It made me laugh so hard. And then I like how all the fat jokes is like on him the the beginning of the movie though. It was kind of funny. But yeah, I'm out. I'm complete complete out. What about you, America? I'm in. Oh. Hey. I'm surprised by all of you guys' outs and deletes. Um, I thought this movie was someone tweeted it, no. No. Oh, damn, I'm off. No, yeah. they're All they're out. <laughs> um, yeah, I thought this movie was really heartwarming. Um, I like the little kid. Um, thought the relationship between him and the the aunt was like super nice. And then when she died, it was like, oh, what's gonna happen? Because that the uncle didn't like him, right? Um, but they do go on their little adventure, and sure, it does kind of go on autopilot. But I guess as someone who was like. Uh, interested in these characters like I enjoyed it um one of the things that I mean he puts like chapter one two three I don't know how many chapters yeah. there were, there were yeah. a lot yeah. and like it did feel like it was too many <laughs> like why are they so short like what are we learning in these chapters that this 
specifically Same. a chapter, yeah. you yeah. know? True. So Knowledge. I think, <laughs> and to me, it didn't feel too long. Um, but yeah, I don't know. You know, it's it's so hard to talk about an out when not seeming like you, you liked it, right? Like yeah. I did like it. I did enjoy it. Uh, yeah. Like you said, like I did connect to the characters. It's just it was a long stretch where I felt like they didn't do it. They didn't do anything. And like more importantly, the characters didn't really grow. Like they they just yeah. kind of stayed the same, you know? Yeah. And for us to like, we already cared about them. You, you, you got us, right? Now make them, you know, take that next step. They do fine, do, do it, but like way, way further ahead. Yeah. Yeah, and that's what I was thinking too. Like maybe because <laughs> the same thing, like it, it wasn't like a bad time, but it was just like, so now that I know, so like maybe I could watch like this part of the whole movie, right? And then right. I go to the restroom, I go outside. <laughs> the movie's still playing, whatever. Right? And then I come back, and yeah. then it, we would still feel the same, you know? Like yeah. it wasn't yeah. like that whole chunk. Who cares that we lost? It, it would still be the same. Yeah. Because there's a lot what of. What chunk would you the- take out? I mean, they when, run into uh, those like people twice. who are trying to the bounty hunters yeah. a couple times. Yeah. Those the ones that they take the guns away from. A couple of times. Um, what else? Oh, La Senora. But, yeah, because like I was gonna say that like these characters are so good, you know. Mm-hmm. Like I really like the 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 Senora <laughs> or the lady. <laughs> those who don't yeah. speak <laughs> fucking Spanish. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> the the, child's the lady. <laughs> yeah. CPS lady. Yeah. 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 Uh. He's so funny, dude. I, that this movie is well written, like for real. Like he writes hilarious. Yeah. And I I, yeah. I, I, I uh, and you know you watch like um. The Jojo Rabbit and stuff like that. His writing is like, I, honestly, I, it's becoming like really like one of my favorites. So it's, yeah. it's really good writing. And then like he loves movies. You could tell he puts oh, movies yeah. Yeah. in his, like it, it, the reference, you know? Mm. So he's doing it really well. So like, I don't want to talk shit about this movie, to be honest. Yeah, that's <laughs> what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> really yeah. off because you yeah. did see his later works first. And no, now but, you're going backwards. Let me finish. Yeah. You're watching his later works first and you're very impressed, right? Especially because you hadn't really heard about him before, right? right. So mm-hmm. you're impressed right off of the bat. And now you start watching his earlier works and you're like, oh, you're kind of seeing like a backwards progression, which mm-hmm. isn't actually how it's going. Like he's just improving, right? Yeah. But it's kind of like, true. I expect this big thing, yeah. this perfect thing, just like I watched last year. Yeah. But, yeah. It, it is unfair you know it is unfair yeah. that we're judging it like that but you know i can only go by my experience you know yeah and i was like <laughs> it's like it's like it's like you're watching it you love it. it's like oh yeah i'm so into this and then it's just like i thought like by the time it ended i thought like when i went outside the pandemic was gonna be over <laughs> that's how much time had passed <laughs> but yeah it's, it, it, the it, movie's it, like an hour and a half <laughs> but like going to what you said earlier america like you talked about the, the hunters they meet and uh, stuff, stuff like that it, it felt like it had a lot of plot points that it introduced and it just kind of like okay move on to the next thing and move on to the next thing you know and i think that's why that's what makes it feel so long is because it doesn't stick with one thing you know it just goes on to the next little chapter or whatever you know mm-hmm. i don't know yeah yeah the, you guys think like this guy is like the real deal like he's gonna get even bigger he got an oscar yeah. already he got yeah, an oscar. i think yeah. i think he proved it already you know yeah. oh yeah, yeah. so no yeah. more yeah after that? like yeah. he's gonna just go down well i don't know <laughs> but yeah <laughs> no he's gonna yeah. keep going yeah. up dude He's obviously he's he's good at making like quirky stories you know but very emotional ones like mm-hmm. like like there were points like where it got really heavy you know and i was like damn like i wasn't expecting to feel these things but then I remember Jojo Rabbit. I was like, oh, he did that the yeah. same thing too. Like he yeah, knows, good. like he knows how to play you like an instrument, basically. Yeah. For real. Like they don't write stuff like this anymore, you know? Like I love that shit. I, I love it. So damn it. I love it. So I'm an owl. Oh, sorry. Yeah. You, know? you know what? I think I think I'm gonna switch it. We dude. should we should switch. Wait, yeah. Okay, I'm in. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> I'm in. I switched. Yeah. <laughs> me too. I switched. It's just you can't like it's it's hard for me. Like, yes, on our on our relative scale, like I would still be it out, but like I can't it seems too harsh, you know, for a yeah. movie that's good. And you just can't do that. It's yeah. un- it, it is unfair to look at it yeah. like that. So I'm so. switching. Right, so, every movie has mistakes wait, uh, Gina, Gina you're still out you can't switch okay bye <laughs> wait are you wait you're switching are you? yeah you're I'm switching, switching. yeah I'm switching. hey it's a sweep this uh, this one took a turn for me yeah it did America, America made sense I, it's, I am switching because like we all, y'all point out some good points we're, we're praising it 
but you know what? And America says like we're watching, and we can't. It's like it's not fair that we're we're praising it like downwards just because it was like basically his early films before going to the good ones he did now. So okay, fine, fine, fine. I'm in. That's a sweet. To I be mean, fair, he's, he's only yeah. done two. Look, I think that everyone <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, rating their valid. Like even I know that I've rated movies like badly when I know that they're good or when I know that I like them. You know, so like you're allowed to have your no, no, no. Well, no, I'm telling you, it changed my mind. That's but it. It's, it's weird because we, we. I don't know what to say. Like, I don't know. Like I, I have more ins than outs. You know. Yeah. That's the, uh, that's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> well, but either way like i said it's not it's not that it's not like i'm changing it because you guys are all changing it. it's because you know what you guys make good points you know you're right you guys are fucking right <laughs> i changed it because robert changed it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh this movie is uh two movies ago because this uh because jojo rabbits was his last one before uh-huh. that is thor ragnarok and before that one was this one. Oh, mm. hey, so thor what Ragnarok. we do in the shadows was uh before this one yeah mm. hell yeah About two years before that one so it's all sweeps Tune in next time. Watch our new movies on Netflix. It's called Project Power, starring Jamie Foxx, Joseph Gordon. Gordon, love it. It's gonna be interesting. I don't know what you guys think about that. It's basically like a superhero movie, apparently. No, uh, I've never, like, I've only heard of it and I haven't seen anything of it. Hey, that's good. Don't, don't, yeah. don't watch the trailer or anything. Let's okay. just fucking, let's just do it, man. Let's just do it. Watch it without <laughs> the trailer or anything. Let's get it, because we don't want to like expect anything. Okay. Want to expect anything? Clean slate. Clean slate. Well, that's that's the that's the new movie, and my, the old movie is my pick, which is oh, *Den of Thieves*, also on Netflix. Stars Gerald Butler, and of course, if you say it, Phoebe Diddy. Phoebe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, I completely missed that. All good. Swing, swing and a miss. <laughs> All good. I, I, I figured you were going to do it because you don't like 50 Cent. So I just wanted to do I love 50 Cent. I thought you did. <laughs> I love G-Unit. America. G-Unit. Yeah. yeah. I hate G-Unit. Mm. Only because huh? my name starts with a G, <laughs> stupid people. Uh, <laughs> please don't forget to follow us in In Out Delete Reviews when we're on Instagram and in Twitter at In Out Delete. Please be safe. Wash your hands. Wear your mask. Don't be a Karen or Kevin. <laughs> Ask up. and be safe over the nose over, over the, the nose. nose be safe and good night <laughs> <Night. laughs>